if you'd say what what's the most iconic scene in what what do people remember of Batman? I think it's the opening scene on the rooftop in, in 1989 Batman. Yeah, where he lifts the thug like yeah. off his feet, like like two feet off the ground. Yeah, and the guy's like, "What are you?" And he's like, "I'm Batman." Yeah, that is That's, absolutely iconic. That is yeah, exactly. There's ten thousand parodies. Yeah, yeah. My favorite scene in that movie is the scene where Michael Keaton Michael Keaton's "Let's Get Nuts" scene. Yes. <laughs> yes. And I'll, I'll probably put a clip of that. That is in here. madness. <laughs> Made mistakes. And then he had us. This lights out! Now you wanna get nuts? Come on! Let's get nuts. It's insane. And he's just tell he's just casually telling this story. And then he's just... Then he smashes the bar with a the umbrella or something? <laughs> yeah. It is what it is. Uh-huh. The same way that Batman 66 is what it is. A lot of people wrote in with some Batman 66 moments. Yep, okay. The most iconic ones, probably the Batman shark. Batman and Joker go surfing? <laughs> yes, that's a good one. Surfing competition, yeah. <laughs> yeah, what is that? What's going on there? Ah, uh, you know what? I can't remember. Me neither. Uh, I can picture it very clearly, but yes. I don't know the context. It may or may not involve them both running for mayor, and they have to <laughs> decide who's the best by a surfing competition, but maybe those are separate episodes. I can't sure. remember. But yeah, you're right. Shark. Shark repellent. Okay, yeah. yep. That is the best. That, that is, like, even though Shark that's, repellent bat spray. It's so goofy, that show. Yep. But deep down, whatever, it's very Batman in the yes. way that he doesn't kill, he doesn't use guns, he's got the same backstory, all the iconic villains are there. Yep. It's, it's everything, but it's super goofy. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's, it's pretty much the, the same Batman. Yeah. Yeah. When I was a kid, I... Well, not when I was like... When I was a kid, I really enjoyed it. And then when... I became like an angsty teen yeah. as we all did I was like oh well it's so dumb it's yeah. such a dumb why, why would they even it doesn't even make any sense but now I'm, I'm 100% back on board me too yeah, as, yeah. A, as an old man I'm 100% <laughs> back on board for me yes there's a lot of iconic moments in the Batman the Dark Knight trilogy uh -huh. but I love that that first scene where you see Bruce Wayne in the prison Yes. And that—that that is, I think Christian Bale is not a great Batman voice or whatever, but I think he nails no, Bruce Wayne. No, he's got Wade. a great Batman voice. <laughs> Why? What? He nails Bruce Wayne, uh -huh. and I love that bit in the prison where he's just like an animal, and he just like is in that is in that kind of pile of mud. Sure. And it's just this brutal brawl, and he's just like he just beats up twenty guys. So many elbows. And knees. <laughs> yeah. And just at the end where you see the guards drag him away. And the ground is just littered with like, right, right. like half beaten to death criminals. Yes, it's great. You got any good like iconic comic comic moments? The first uh, Justice League, the the two is two early two thousand Justice League reboot with yeah. by Grant Morrison, mm. where uh, the Earth is visited by a super team called the Hyper Clan, mm -hmm. who have decided that they are going to come down and help the world. They're gonna you know end crime and war, and they're gonna you know grow crops in desert land. Batman doesn't trust them, of mm, course, yeah. because they're doing good work. Yeah. A bunch of pricks. <laughs> and, of course, they the, the Hyper Clan then start executing supervillains, yeah. you know, just to clear some space, mm, I guess. Sure. And then they decide, they realise that the Justice League are onto them, and then they decide to just full-on kill them all. Mm. And Batman's, the Batplane is crashed in, uh, in Antarctica, mm. or the Arctic. Can't, can't remember. remember. Ice. Matter. Yeah, it's certainly crashed in some ice. Certainly, and it looks like it's curtains for everybody. Yeah, and uh, the the hyper clan take out sort of the rest of the Justice League. Yeah, and kind of you know tie him up and mm. have him. And they, but they leave Batman in the crash plane because they're, they're like, like who he's, cares? He's a guy. Who we've cares? got, we've got. Yeah, it turns out that these guys, you know, one one's a super speedster, one's a you know one's a shape changer, yeah. one has like Superman's powers, yeah. et cetera, et cetera. And then they're like, and they're like, who cares? Well, you know, he's just a guy. Yeah. Is he? Is he just a man? <laughs> yes. Yeah, he is. That's certainly true. But of course, Batman has figured out their secret, and he discovers that they are in fact white Martians, like Martian Manhunter. Yeah. So they all have all those powers. They're all super speedsters. They all have shape changing abilities. They all have Superman's powers. They mm. can all, you know, blah blah blah. Which sounds bad for Batman. Ultimately. Yeah, yeah. But of course, Batman knows that their one weakness is fire, mm. and so in a moment where we think that he's going to be just trounced by, like, three of these super, super villains, hmm. he just sets a ring of fire around them and then making them vulnerable again and just proceeds to pulp them off. <laughs> it's pretty. It's brilliant. And there's that scene afterwards where the leader of the Hyperclad's talking to Superman and he's yeah. like, how is this possible? He's, he's just a guy. And Superman's like, he's the most dangerous man in the world. Yeah. <laughs> you guys have in some serious shit. Yeah. And everybody in the team like comes together. Like Superman realizes that you know the kryptonite they're holding him with isn't real. It's just yeah. an illusion, and he breaks free. And you know everybody else does as well. Mm. And then 
but it's it's that moment where you're like, why is this? Why is Batman on the Justice League? He's got no powers. He's a yeah. rich guy with a plane. Yeah, a why crashed he, plane. A crashed plane. He, he used to have a plane. He's a guy with no plane. <laughs> But it's because he is the most dangerous man in the world and he knows what he's doing. Yeah. Like, everybody in the Justice League really knows what they're doing. Yeah. So, yeah. Great moment. So, I haven't just spoiled that for you. Yes. Go and read that. (laughs) Uh, Mine isn't as good, but probably as iconic. There's just one panel and I don't know what it's from, but there's a villain and he's going to grab a gun out of his pocket, at the, uh-huh. the front of his pants, and Batman kicks the gun, and the gun goes like goes off in his pants. Right. And it says something like underneath, Batman, he'll make you shoot your, your own dick off. Right. So. No, that's iconic. You're right. <laughs> that's what most people think of when they think of Batman. Red hot comic book movie news. Shooting up your butthole.